Thank God for Ebubu and Yvonne. Guys, yesterday night could have been a dead night. In fact, this housemate just want to leave that house. In fact, all of them are tired. None of them are ready to give us content again. None of them is ready to give us drama again. In fact, this show has been dragging right from where Yemi Craig was evicted. See, I, I am getting tired of the show. I how I wish this show would just end this summer day and one week with this show again is going to be it's going to be nothing like a guy why can't these guys in this house be creative why why can't they be creative why can't they prank each other why can't they use anything guys i am going crazy this show is boring boring they are saturday night party boring they are they, they are pool party yesterday night mad though it was so boring in fact he, he watching football was better watching cartoon was better watching other things was better guys if not for this conversation that was had between uh yvonne and a boo boo trust me there wasn't any reason for us to be watching the big brother titan show see big brother i beg we don't need big brother titan again just leave the big brother samsi and the big brother niger see this big brother is so so boring where people no beef no fight nothing nothing they are just there laying back at least there are up to six people in that house and none of them are making effort to entertain the viewers they are just there sleeping waking up ah no way i'll be complaining and complaining and i'll still keep complaining till this boring show end hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing this is messy bella on your screen if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell and anytime i upload a new video you will get notification guys a whole lot is not a whole lot like little is happening in the big brother's house and i want to recap it for you guys so yesterday the housemates did not um win their wager they actually lost their wager and i am not angry for them like i was not sad for them i'm like are you guys actually deserving you guys did not even put effort in entertaining the viewers not to talk about your wages in fact everybody is laying back nothing is happening nothing no there is nothing to write hope about like it was so so boring the wager preparation like guys last week this housemate actually tried put on their best to um give us their wager put everything uh, to make sure that they give us the best in their wager but this week i don't know <laughs> they didn't really put effort they didn't really put the energy uh, fortunately for them and i'm happy the, with the fact they, that they lost their wager thank god congratulations to them you guys know anytime these housemates lost their wagers their spirits are always low their spirits are n always not not there their spirits are always um down you understand so um yeah yesterday was their pool party and <laughs> their pool party in fact every housemate was just having conversation on their own everybody was just having conversation on their own that there is nothing happening nothing was happening nobody was dancing at least before kanaka junior is always at least facing camera facing us to give us some moves but you see this month uh, this uh, week it was so so dry it was so so dry the such the 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 the, the, the poop party was dry extremely dry see the organizers of this show i i hope you guys will get your profit because <laughs> i don't think everybody is watching trust me i don't think everybody is watching this boring show at this point i don't think so so yeah 
after the Saturday, after the um, pool party, the housemates were in and they were talking about how they would just kukuma move to one room without uh, the exchanging of two rooms. At least they are not more much in the house again. And uh, Yvonne suggested that <laughs> Kosi and Tabank are going to stay in one bed. And Kosi was saying, I, 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 as it could be as it should be and then um, um, Tabang was feeling uh, shy and I'm like Tabang you have kissed Kosi in private you have kissed her in public so don't you don't need to be feeling shy so after that scenario that is where um, Yvonne decided to start analyzing everything that happened <laughs> to start analyzing things that happened in the show um right from the one things the, like analyzing miracles personality analyzing Yemi's personality and analyzing cosy personalities guys this lady actually said cosy is such a subtle person cosy does not want to hurt body anybody a mirror like in in Yvonne's mind miracle is the villain miracle is the bad person miracle is trying so hard to be like yemi blah 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 so both of them were just um uh, Yvonne and Ebubu were just having that conversation, talking about other housemates, and that is where Ebubu, see, Ebubu is vindictive. Ebubu is, you guys remember, where Miracle blow off um, Ebubu, uh, Ebubu situation out of proportion, where um, Yemi was the head of house, and <laughs> where Yemi was the head of house, and Ebubu was told to wash plates. If you guys remember that uh, scenario, see ebubu still had that in his mind yeah for ebubu miracle is not a good person miracle is an instigator miracle is this miracle is that and for yvonne miracle is insecure and i'm like what did miracle do to feel insecure about like miracle is not insecure if there is anybody that was insecure it could have been yemi cracks because yemi cracks was always checking upon uh, Kosi, Kosi will go to meet uh, Tabang. In fact, knowing fully well that Tabang is a little boy, a small boy, so he is always feeling insecure. Why will I be fighting um, this boy because of uh, a girl? Blah blah blah. Is it even worth it? I'm like, so if there is anybody that is actually feeling insecure, it should be Yemi Cracks. So, um, guys <laughs> a lot is going still going on and uh, um they they had that gossip session they before um yvonne you guys know um about like there's no other gossip gang uh, olivia is not there um genio is not there so she is the only person in the remaining in that gossip gang see yvonne is such a boring person like you don't have sense they you don't have like how can a nigerian baby this this boring like at least bring out a prank bring out a game bring out something that will make people spiced up ask question poke people look for trouble uh -huh. the, the, the show is i don't know i don't really know maybe these are instructions from big brother so that the two um the two the two countries will not have problem because of the show so moving on to the uh, conversation that was had between uh, um, Black Boy and the uh, yeah, and the Kosi guys, if you guys remember or if you guys notice, Kosi has been leaning towards Black Boy. Kosi has been trying so hard to make Black Boys her friend. See, Kosi is such a snitch and a snake. So she is now trying to make Blue Eva's man her man. I don't understand. Or she wants to start a a ship with a Black Boy. I don't get it because the way and whenever she wants to rant, whenever she wants to talk, she will carry herself and meet Black Boy. She will talk to Black Boy. Even Black Boy is still ranting too. You guys know, and now I understand why Black Boy is always on Equalist case. Like, guys, Black Boy have not forgiven Equalist. <laughs> If you guys the supreme veto power guys black boy has not forgive it at all. I mean this person was your partner you both was 
together, um, play the game together, um, nominate people together, worked together, and the person actually did not um, nominate, it, it take you to the finals where they had the opportunity to. Um, that was so, so bad. I Guys, that was so, so bad. And Black Boy is still feeling um, somehow about it. Black Boy is still feeling down. Black Boy is still feeling um, betrayed by Ikpeleng. And then uh, Kosi decided to convince her to tell him that mm, what you are going to do have a conversation with Ikpeleng because Ikpeleng did not even consider you at all <laughs> you were never the uh, Ikpeleng's first uh, choice neither were you Ikpeleng's second choice Ikpeleng's first choice was a boo boo the second choice was a uh, um, sassy and the third choice was Kanaga Jr in fact you were really you were never an option so have that conversation let it go and the, the way um, black boy what the reason black boy is still hurting is because um Ikpeleng it has is not even um ready to have that conversation Ikpeleng is even trying to avoid her guys i understand black boy guys if you if if you do such a thing to your partner what they are supposed to do like have a conversation with this person let them understand that this is a game you know they are hurting because of your your action that is why Ikpeleng was afraid of losing friendships in as much as she wants to um, win the show but she still wants to have friends so um she think she's always saying that oh she think um, she will not have friends um outside the show blah 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 guys um if what the parent could have done since this thing happened was to like have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with black boy let him understand that is a show is a game and everybody is bringing their best food forward and uh, um I because he encouraged the black boy to um have a conversation with Ikpeleng, let Ikpeleng understand the kind of game that is happening, that you know, there is no personal beef between both of them. So as usual, Mama Kosi decided to use the opportunity to talk about her and the Tabang situation. According to her, the black um, Tabang um, Yemi Krex and her boyfriend has not given her the reason to stay with them. And I'm like, at this point, Kosi, you are confused. You don't even know what you want. You don't know what you want. The last day, you say, ah, I don't want everybody to pursue me. I don't want to chase anybody. They will be the one to chase me i called you a queen today now you are saying another thing guys huh, this lady is still playing her game let her keep playing her game in ignorance what do you guys think what do you guys feel about all of this that is happening in the big brother's house the boringness um what do you guys feel about it just put your opinions in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next video bye